All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Svenoff the Mountain. Before we get started, I want to uh, wish everybody a Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating. Uh, I hope you have a good end of the year. I hope that 2022 has been kind to you. Um, it has been for me. I am uh, really grateful for you guys. You know, I came back this year after a two-year hiatus, and I really wasn't sure how it was going to be received. You guys have been outstanding, so sincerely, thank you for that. So, last episode was a fun one. We managed to finish off the Batanians once and for all, eliminating our first faction and Svenoff claiming the head of the first king to rest on his mantle, the treacherous Kaladog. That was satisfying. However, that war has left us in rough shape. Um, we need to desperately retrain up some new troops to fill out our elite armies. So we're going to be doing that today, as well as Svenoff is going to be experimenting around with some new weapons. Trying to smith some new god tier weapons. Uh, so we're going to do that, as well as try to level up some unconventional skills to unlock some of the better perks in the game that should make our elite troops even better and ready to take on multiple empire factions at the same time. That's the goal at least, and if we still have spare time after that, we might go ahead and declare war, war on Sturgia again and finally put an end to the civil war to show who's the real Sturgian king once and for all. So, without any further ado, Udris, you can go ahead and uh, stop getting being uncomfortably close to the just absolutely ridiculously thick barkeep. I mean, god damn, these Batanian women are built like dump trucks. God. All right. <laughs> so, here's the deal. This is what I want to work on this episode. We have a, a focus point here. Um, originally, I was thinking we we're going to try to do a... All right, it's kind of a soft bug slash exploit with a roguery where um, you can go way, way beyond your roguery learning limit by getting a ton of XP all at once. Um, we might do that at some point in the future. It's not, it's not the most important. I don't think the perks are like anything too crazy here. So instead, I'm going to use this focus point that we got last episode and throw it into polearm because one of the two big things I want to do uh, while we're training up our new armies is one, get one-handed up to 225. We're almost there. Because that will allow us to get this perk right here, Unwavering Defense, which will officially take Sven off up to 200 hit points. And will give every single infantry in our entire party, not just in the formation, every infantry in our party gets 10 extra HP. That is a ridiculous buff. Also, I want to start working on Polearm because there are some very good perks here as well. This one is, is one I really want to get to. Um, infantry in your party have their weapon skills increased by 30 while in shield wall. That's all we do, baby. <laughs> That's all we're known for is our shield wall. Um, there's a lot of good ones here. There's a lot of good ones here. So we're going to try to train this up. And in order to do that, I want to build Svenoff a god tier, like, glaive. I'm thinking something out of the, uh... I'm thinking, like, if you've seen, like, uh, Total, Total War Three Kingdoms... Like when you have the generals riding on horseback and they have just gigantic glaives that they're cutting down through uh, swaths of enemies, like the Grim Reaper. I want to build something like that. And I think I found something like that here. So, we haven't unlocked any parts for uh, two-handed um, spears yet. Nothing like that at all. However, uh, I did notice that Scythe actually will unlock parts for us. So... I've been running around trying to pick up all the sites I can find. Hold up, where are they at? There we go. For whatever reason, uh, Batanians have tons of them. I don't know if they're just... They have pastures, like lots of... Well, I guess sites were used to um, to cut grass back in the medieval times, weren't they? <laughs> so we have a bunch of those. However, I noticed this thing right here. Ramfea. This thing looks terrifying. It's 30 Gs. It has 200 length. So, for, for reference, Avalanche. Avalanche 2, which is an insanely long axe that we can use from horseback, has a length of 124. This thing has a length of, of 203. And it's a swing damage. It's not a spear. It's not a lance. No, this is like a glaive. It has 141 swing damage. Avalanche only has 115. Now, this is a little bit slower, but the reach and the damage on this thing is insane. 
insane. So, we're going to be picking this up and uh, giving this away. You can't even see the top of it. It's so big. <laughs> we're going to be giving this thing a go. Um, if it's anything like what its stats imply, we should be able to crush some people with this. Let's go ahead and uh, we can actually sell off a lot of our two-handed swords. That's the other thing we kind of need to do is build our, uh, build our purse back up. Which, I mean, shouldn't be too hard. We still have so many crafted swords. And then, uh, when we're done with all the new smithing that I want to do, um, we should have enough spare metal that I can just craft up a bunch of the new swords again. Uh, so speaking of that, let me go ahead and hop in here. So yeah, right now, it's this. these are the ones we want. Two-handed polearm. Alright, but the problem is, we have barely anything unlocked. For some reason, we have a tier 4 shaft unlocked. Not sure what's up with that. Yeah, not sure what's up with that at all. Um, but other than that, we don't have we don't have anything. So this is gonna take some work. Uh, I'm actually going to respect Svenoff's perks real quick, I think, so that he's able to smith a bunch. And then, since Alishka is actually a really good smith herself, we can have we can respect her, have her use this perk, and just have her do all the smelting. Or wait, 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 where's it at? This one. We can have her do all the smelting, and so we'll learn new parts twice as fast with Svenoff smithing everything and Alishka smelting everything. That's the plan, at least. We'll, we'll see if that works. All right, so I found a juicy group of looters here. There's like 50 of them. This should be the perfect training grounds to try this thing out. Look how massive this glaive is. Is this what the Falksmen use? This feels longer than what even the Falksmen use. <laughs> Okay, it's a little slow, but that's because our polearm skill is really low. Um, the damage should be ridiculous, and the reach is... I mean, I'm hitting them from a city away. Whoo! 197 damage? Okay. Okay, watch out for pitchforks. <laughs> actually, I prefer when you guys are throwing rocks at me. The rocks barely do any damage. Your pitchforks actually kind of hurt a little bit. Just a little bit. Whoo! <laughs> Yes, sir, baby. Oh my god. Can we? I don't think we can cleave through enemies with this. That's disappointing. Wait, did was that a... No, no, no. That wasn't a double kill. These guys are just getting hit by our archers now. Oh my word. This is just... Oh, they're running. Yeah, of course they're running. They have the fucking Grim Reaper on horseback claiming all their souls. Look at this. Oh, come on. Baby. What is our pole? Our pole arm's already 274. And we just hit 275 riding. Or sorry, not not 274. I meant, uh... What is it now? 99? Hold up, let me get 100. Can I get 100 in one battle? Can I get 100 pole arm skill in one battle? Oh, Jesus. 255? <laughs> okay, uh... The results are in... It's pretty fucking good. My god, Svenoff looks terrifying with this. Jeez. <laughs> we got 38 polearm skill in one battle. <laughs> and two riding. Wow. That's actually pretty impressive. I think the polearm must give a lot of XP. I mean, we were, we were hitting for a lot of damage. It makes sense. It really does make sense. Holy. Okay. Uh, leave the rest of the... Oh my god, look how many troops just leveled up. <laughs> I got the Variac Veterans. Some more of those. Some more of those. Uh, I'm not going to waste War Horses on you. Okay, I'll take that. Beautiful. Good work. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll take the free beer, and then we'll leave everything else for the troops. Nice. Okay, there are some more looters over here. Uh, we're slow right now. We're disorganized. I'm not going to waste time chasing them down. Okay, we need to go... Hold on, how much time do we have? We need to go stop these uh, bandits before uh, the conspiracy gets too high here. Yeah, so what is it at? It's at 1161 right now. Why, why is it going up so fucking fast, man? <laughs> I feel like that's so much higher than it was. Okay, we're going to stop at Pendraic Castle. I'm actually going to drop off all of our Druzinics that we have. Uh, just because they're already max level anyways. And pick up... A whole bunch of new future Fion champions. So drop them off. Yes, 77 highborn youths. That's what I'm looking for. 
Give me these guys as well. So it's 229. Uh, anyone anyone else want to wanna join us? You're welcome to. You're max out, right? Yeah, veteran Bowman's as high as that goes. We'll take the line breakers. Hmm. Sturgeon Warriors. We can also, actually, we should probably pick up some infantry while we're there as well. well like, while we're in Sturgeon territory. Okay, and then that'll get us up to, like, 300 or so. That'll be a good amount. All right, don't forget that we have our Trusinic champions in that castle. Jesus Christ, I hope not. All right, let's head on over here. Let's uh, take out these Sea Raiders and continue leveling up. Um, 275. Oh, my God, that's the final perk. What is this? Way of the Saddle. Increase your charge damage and maneuver by plus one for each or for each 10 riding skill above 200. Oh. So where we're at right now, we're getting plus seven charge damage and plus seven maneuver right now. That's actually quite a bit, at least for the charge damage. I think that's a lot. Is it not? Uh, yeah, apply those. 24 charge damage. And I think that's that's taking it into account so that's a that's not i mean i don't know it feels like a lot and 78 maneuver seems like a ton okay let's see what we got from the pole arm so first up here okay clean thrust so we ourselves are not going to be using pole arms all that much okay we're just using it for this episode to get the perks so we only care about the captain perks infantry troops in the in your formation have plus 30 to pole arm skill okay Infantry troops you are leading have their swing speed increased by 2%. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, what else we got here? Um, so personal footwork. Yeah, polearm, polearm stuff. We don't care too much. Okay. Captain, infantry troops in the formation you are leading have their movement speed increased by 2%. Or they gain 3 hit points. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually a tough one. Hmm. I think I'd prefer HP, because a lot of the times we're in shield wall, where we're not really moving. I think the HP is better. But that's what I'm talking about. These perks on this random-ass polearm tree, even though we're not going to use polearms long-term, this is so worth it to get. So worth it. All right, beautiful. Keep on moving. Actually, I think we have some other level-ups around here. Fodor, 100 scout. Nice. Forced March, 2.5% movement speed bonus when party morale is higher than 75. Bro, we always keep our boys happy. Of course, that's going to be a thing. And then this, these other ones are for party leader. 20% um, less penalty while overburdened. Eh. Yeah, forced march, definitely better. You do have a focus point. Hmm. Uh, let's even it out. Give you some throwing as well. Alishka. She's got some more engineering. Uh, governor, okay, engineer. Damage to walls increased by 25% during siege. Hmm, I like that. Oh yeah, this one's governor. Yeah, yeah, so this one's definitely the one. That's nice. That's actually pretty nice. All right, and then let me just go through the rest of these. All right, here we go. Finally over here. Um, it's nice that they actually indicate where they are on the map. I don't remember them doing that before, but that is very useful. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's just a bunch of Sea Raiders. This, sh this should actually be really good training XP for all of our new archers. Although, they are Sea Raiders, so they do have shields. They have discovered that technology. Um, but, I mean, we have 150 <laughs> Batanian archers just uh, throwing a whole lot of lead downrange at them. Um, I, I don't think those shields are going to hold up. I mean, dear God, just look at... <laughs> At this mass archer line. Now, they're not Fion champions. Not yet. But we will get them there uh, by the end of this episode. That is just so much. How do you how do you run against that? As If, if you're 40 dudes, you're going to run up against this? Come on. Give me a break. All right. We do need to be a little more careful with this one. Because uh, <laughs> unlike the stones that the looters were throwing... I think these Sea Raiders actually pack a punch with their javelins, if I remember correctly. So I think what we might do is uh, wait for them to get a little closer so they're more focused on our troops. And then we just come in from behind and slash away. Okay, here we go. They're a little bit closer now. Let's see how many of them are paying attention to me. A couple of them are. All right, a few of them are. Ooh. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 200 damage. <laughs> 225. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I saw that axe coming. And a headshot me. Whoop. Don't think so. 
Don't think so. <laughs> oh, we're just cutting away at him. This is great. This is great. Ooh. This thing reaches from so far away. That is OPR. Those guys are dead. Let me get this guy before he escapes. Yoink. <laughs> and uh, I think they're dead. Right, isn't that it? Oh, there's one running away over here. No, no, no. No, no, no. No one escapes from the Grim Reaper. Oh, okay. Someone else got him. Good uh, good shot, I guess. All right. How do we do there? We only got nine kills, but that's still another 12 polearm skill. Holy shit. It levels up so fast. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice, man. I'm enjoying this. It's been so long since we've had a skill that we can just train up like that. Ten points in one battle? Jesus. I think it took me a couple battles just to get the last uh, point in two-handed to get it up to 330. All right, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god, look at all of our all of our highborn uh, warriors and youths leveling up. Oh, that is sick. Uh, Vlandian, I want you to go footman. Then the hero. Oh, these guys are leveling up so fast. And, oh, nice. Elite cataphract, take that. I probably should have taken some more of those prisoners with me. Because we have more than enough time while we're running around to recruit a bunch of them. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, none of this, none of that. Okay, just a bunch of this stuff. Is there anything? We'll take some of it, I guess, but the rest of it we'll just leave. 4K for the troops. You're welcome, boys. Uh, was that... That was... No, no, no. We don't have a new perk yet. Um, oh, and that's just a regular group of Sea Raiders. All right, we'll quick stomp these guys out. So, did we get... The conspiracy has gone up. Oh my god. Come on. Give me a break. It's gone up. Fuck. We might... <laughs> doing these quests might not be enough to, to get it to go down. Like... These, these people are relentless. Ooh, hello. A bunch of looters too. Oh yeah. I'll fight you guys. Nice. Hey. That's just more XP for the troops. Okay, looks like in this one they're going to be on top of us pretty much right away. So hopefully our archers can handle that. Alright, they are at least running on the non-mountainous parts of this map. So I will be able to uh, we'll be able to get some action here. There we go. Ooh, look at it. 20 charge damage. Yo, that perk is working. 20 charge damage is no... Did I just decapitate somebody? It felt like something went flying off of that person when I hit him. At some point, I need to install that mod. There's a mod that allows you to decapitate people and, like, chop off limbs and stuff. And I feel like that'd be so fitting for Svenoff. Like, that just makes sense, does it not? If he's cutting through four people at one time, you better believe some limbs are going flying in that process. Oh, these poor... Oh, my God. These Sea Raiders and Looters got wrecked. Look, that guy got knocked out by charge damage. Nine charge damage. All right, hold on. Let's... Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm going to try to remember in the next battle. We're going to try to hit someone going full speed and see how much it does. Maybe it it might be worth... Ooh, nice. We're, we got a new perk. It might be worth us putting another focus point into riding because that'll get us up to 330. And the skill cap on that will essentially, eventually, like, double the bonus charge damage and maneuver we're getting from that perk. It'll we'll get up to 13 maneuver and charge. That's pretty considerable. What? 73 level ups? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, nice, I guess. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, look at that. 24 and 25. Oh, man. And uh, Vlandian Footman. I think I want to get some Volges. Some of those uh, Volges. They're kind of like better armored uh, Batanian Falksmen. And I remember when we were at war with, uh, when we were at war with Valandia, they were fucking our day up. Like, they, those guys were not fun. Uh, date fruit, yes, yes, take all that. Alright, the rest of this. I don't know, I mean, we'll take some of it, but then, yep, leave the rest for the boys. Wow, okay, it is so much easier to train up armies now than it used to be. I mean, this is just, this is fantastic. <laughs> Uh, honestly, the conspiracy quest, is, specifically this one, is is great. <laughs> They're just giving us big armies of enemies to train on. All right, what do we got here? Lancer, increase your speed damage bonus with pole arms by twenty percent with while mounted. 
So even though this isn't a lance, I think that sh that should apply to what we're doing currently, I would think. Uh, troops in the formation you're leading have their damage speed bonus with pole arms increased by 20%. That would actually be really big, big for our Drusenics, wouldn't it? The Drusenic champions use spears or lances. What's this? Steed killer? Increase your damage against mounts? Fuck that. This one. Oh my god, this one's going to make our Drusenics terrifying. That's actually a really good perk. I hadn't even read all these. Or I guess I forgot about some of them. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> Alright, one more. Let's get this done. Alright, nice. Oop, can't hit me. Can't touch me. Especially when you're getting shot at by, uh, you know. I mean, they're actually starting to get pretty decently leveled up super fast. There's a couple of Fions in there. Most of the, uh, the, like, youths are at least up to warriors already. Ooh. Oh, they're all gonna be dead before I get the last guy. Wait. Is that not it? Where's the last one? Oh, what the fuck? There was <laughs> oh, a guy actually closed the gap. He made it all the way up. You know what? I think he was hiding. He used the hill as cover, and he was charging them through that angle. Good work. Easy peasy. Another 37 level ups. Okay. So now we have the actual full army, right? Now we're going up against the conspiracy army, if it's the same quest as before. This should be a bigger test for us. 50 more level ups. Uh, <laughs> we're going to save them as Batanian Fions. For, for uh, those of you who don't know what I'm doing, we're saving them as Batanian Fions so that uh, once you level them up to Fion champions, they're no longer earning XP that goes into the cumulative pool for the entire group of Batanian Fions. So that's why I leave them right before they're at their final tier. Until all of them are ready to level up. And then I just do it all at once. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, shoot. Let's get a heavy spearman. Since uh, since we've been training up our pole arm, And a lot of these perks are going to be applying to them. Yeah, look at that. Already up to 18 Fions. And a bunch. What is this tier 3 called? I forget. Don't even remember. Hero? Hero. That's what they're called. A lot of heroes already, too. Good stuff. 40 of them. <laughs> oh, nice. Aha! There we go. Spotted him. There are... Wow, I really should probably clear out some of these hideouts. This, I, I feel like uh, this many Sea Raiders could actually be causing our caravan some trouble. But, um... Yeah, not gonna do that today. But, you know, I, I should do that at some point, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, if I remember correctly, I mean, this is... This is a decent army. This is not a bunch of scrubs. This isn't like what Batania was throwing at us at the end of last episode. We'd, when we'd wipe them out and then they'd, they'd immediately come back. They'd go to some village and be like, Hey, 40 more of you. Come on out. I don't know. How fast must the Batanians... They must reproduce like rabbits, man. I, I don't know how they're pumping out so many troops so quickly. All right. So let's see. Um, all right. It's a valley. I guess that's not an issue. It being a valley. That's fine. Boom. Shield wall, shield wall. I just want the archers to be... Nope, that's not what I said at all. Come on, like this. And spread out. There we go. Alright, we can always just tell them to move up. That'll be good. Maybe shield walls the infantry right there. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Good work. Oh, yeah. Hold up, how far away are they? Okay, they're pretty far away. Alright, move up, you guys. Um, you guys over there. Archers, I don't know where I want you. Alright, at least move up to here. They're probably going to come over this hill. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like they're not in a good position. Soldiers! Okay, the archers, come over like here. Forward. We'll have the Move. infantry right there. See how that goes. Alright, hello. How's it going? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This, I feel like on paper this should be good on horseback. I mean, the crazy range. Oh, Jesus. Let's me hit these guys from just a mile away. There goes their commander in one shot. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, yeah, this... I hit him from that far away? I'm not in the same area code as these dudes. Okay. <laughs> that was a strange little rag doll. Ooh. We can even, and with the new charge damage, we can pull out some old uh, warband tactics. Where if someone's blocking with their shield, you run your horse into them. 
so it stop it stumbles them and then you complete your swing and so you can hit them even if they're shielding boom 233 yes uh-huh come on keep it coming oh hello okay you look a little scary but you don't have a whole lot of range do you oh okay hold up ouch, ouch, ouch. boom oh that's not the guy that's the guy conspiracy knight get him the fuck out of here all right let's get back to our boys how are we doing lads hey okay i got gotcha. you don't worry daddy spent off is here they, they aren't even looking at me. This is... That's a mistake. Are you running away? Oh, I'll get all the kills in the meantime while you're running away. I don't mind that one bit at all. Come on. No, they're all getting shot. Okay, hold up. There's some crossbows somewhere for me to find. Yeah, they're not dead yet. Ooh, okay. Wait, there's three of you. Give me more. I need more XP. Svenoff's thirst for blood has not been satiated. There we go. 150 polearm already? <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's fun using a new weapon for the first time in a while. Wow, okay. You know what? This is opening my eyes to the possibility of pole arms. Also, 68 level ups. My God. <laughs> this is opening my eyes. You know, in Warband, all my characters were like, use a one-handed sword and use a shield. And then uh, in Bannerlord, pretty much all my characters have been use a two-handed axe. You know what? Maybe, maybe this type of uh, glaive. I guess is that the. I, I feel weird calling it like a, a a spear, or even a pole arm. Like it doesn't feel like that. I don't know. All right. Uh, all right. Whatever. We'll just level up the Druzenix. Ooh, Azurai veteran Ferris. Nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. And, ooh, Vlandy and Billman. Yes, those are the guys that level up into the Volgiers, right? Am I thinking of the right thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vlandy and Volgiers. That's what I want. Ooh. Yeah, that kind of looks like the same stick that I'm using. It's just a different head on it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Recruit all them. Thank you very much. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Uh, not really any good loot there, unfortunately. But, ooh, a war mount. We'll take that. Regular mounts? Are they worth XP? They're not worth XP. I guess we can take them. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Beautiful. All right, so what does that do to the conspiracy? Oh, my gosh. It's not even back down under 1,100. I mean, come on. Come on. I, I almost want him to constantly pop out quests now that we're not at war and they're not, like, uh, too big of a hassle. That'd be nice if they just pumped out quests for us. All right, I'm going to run around and I'm going to sell off, or at least attempt to, sell off the majority of our crafted two-handed swords that we have. I don't know how many we have left. Fuck me, we have a lot left. <laughs> but I, I, I kind of just want to see how much cash we have, like, in theoretical value, you know? Um... So this might take a sec, but then I'll, I'll be doing some smithing along the way. Just imagine if that's how good this thing is, just imagine how good Svenoff could make like the perfect version of that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Give me a sec. Ah, how I've missed you. We can't keep meeting like this. But it is good seeing you again, gigantic rack of meat. Alright, so we're in this tavern because uh, one of you guys actually left a comment that um, got me thinking. We don't have that many companions. Like, I think we can have up to eight. We only have like three right now. So, I've been on the lookout for some decent ones. And this guy right Peace here, you, stranger. Sorgar the Loud. Name? Okay, hey, stop talking over me. I, I get that that's your, that's your thing. He's actually got some pretty decent melee stats. Like, very solid all-around fighter. This is exactly what we're looking for. Tell me about yourself. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Lineage is, an, is as ancient as it is noble. So, of course, when King Durthurt uh, called the muster of the vassals, I took my father's horse and mail and rode off to join it. All right. There was a great deal of marching to and fro. I shan't bore you with that. Okay. Um... Oh, and then someone told, <laughs> told him that he wasn't a knight and to join the second rank of horses. And then he struck him down. Ooh, and then his friends came against you, and he struck them down too. I laid a full dozen of them down before they finally overbore me. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, that's quite impressive. 
At any rate, the enemy came down upon us and the Vlandian host was scattered. Uh, maybe because you took out a dozen of their finest knights, but okay. Alright. Hey, yeah, I could definitely use you. 259, that's it? Yeah, welcome aboard, man. <laughs> that is fantastic. Uh, all I'm doing right now is uh, continuing to run around to the different towns because we keep clearing everybody out of their money. No one, there aren't enough dinars in all of Calradia to buy all of our swords. Like, it's taking so long. Um, we still, I mean, we're starting to put a dent in it. We're starting to put a dent in it. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. We got, like, maybe 40 more, 50 more swords. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. But we're up to 1.26 mil, so that's not too shabby. Um, the reason I want to sell all them off is because then I'm going to switch, uh... Svenoff's perk loadout so that he instead of having the one that allows him to sell his stuff for more what the fuck was that I don't know why I just got six skill points and charm but uh good work whoever did that <laughs> who is Valina oh is that Fodor's wife what is she doing that's gaining a bunch of I, I don't know I don't know what's happening there Anyways, I want to get rid of the perk that allows us to sell stuff for a lot and get the one that allows Svenoff to craft twice as many weapons um, in a single day because that'll be a lot more useful for what we're going to be grinding next. So yeah, I just basically just run around. 70k, not too bad. And then I also buy up all of their war mounts so that we can make more Druzinic champions eventually. There we go, perfect. Beautiful, and then I've also been buying up all their hardwood and any scythes that they have. I think I have way more scythes than we actually need, but eh, whatever. It's not like they cost that much to cover. Plus, I'm pretty sure they probably donate for a lot to our troops. Yeah, I would think so at least. Okay, I think we're about ready to actually start the smithing. Let me just uh, tell you what, I might make a trip and just hit these towns real quick. And then we should be pretty close to having everything sold off. Ooh, our son is ready for more guidance. Ragnand. Ragnand. Yes. You're now old enough to independently to play independently with the other children. Uh, I would like you to never tire out is a good one. Oh, win wrestling matches. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that face. Oh, yes. That is a tough boy right there. All right. Fighting mock battles. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just like his father. And the tutors commend him for his intelligence. Not so much like his father. What? Alright, fire those tutors. Give me some new ones. <laughs> I want my boy to be big and strong. Not, you know, smart and all that. Holy shit. Nozon has 182? My god. I guess that's at his max size, but still... That is insane, buddy. Good work. I mean, they're probably not all that tough, I'm assuming. Can we actually see what his loadout is? No, we can't right now. God. 182. For, like, not even one of our main characters. Just uh, our brother. That's awesome. Uh, maybe we'll tell you what, we'll make the full circuit around and make sure we can really sell everything off. All right, Yasna as well. Was she... I'm trying to remember. Is she the twin of Ragnand, or...? No, if they were twins, when <laughs> they should have hit five at the same point. Uh, I'm not sure who she is. Who who are you? <laughs> um, I don't know. I could use a steward, I suppose. Um, yeah, you know what? She really likes riddles. Watch with my luck. Her tutors are gonna be like actual bodybuilders, and they're like, "Yeah, turns out she can bench 350. Uh, pretty impressive. Not gonna lie." <laughs> Playing board games? No. Anything? <sighs> really? Nothing really what we want? Alright, give her a mock battle then. Oh my god! It, it is! It's her vigor! No! Why is she- <laughs> She's the beast! <laughs> she benches 350, it can already kill four armed knights in, uh, in, in 1v4 combat. It's- it, She's- <laughs> She's a phenom. We, we've never seen anything like her before. <laughs> I mean, that would make sense for the daughter of, uh, of Svenoff. That would make sense. All right, but what I've been doing... Um, so we're not only clearing these guys out of all their money, but what I noticed is besides just having a bunch of scythes, they also have... Where is it at? Oh, they don't have them here. They had them at the other swatting town I was at. They have bill hooks. Bill hooks are what the Volgiers use, and uh, they're kind of expensive. They're like 8,000 or something like that a piece. 
but that should jumpstart our training progress on, yeah, these ones right here. That should jumpstart our training progress on unlocking parts for uh, for the two-handed. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully that wasn't a waste of like 30k or whatever I spent on it. Okay, I think we found another good vassal for, or uh, another good companion for us. This guy, Valishin the Lucky, pretty good melee stats. And then also has some tactics and some leadership already. This could be a potential future lord, and he's generous and daring. Only good attributes. This is a pretty nice pickup for us. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna recruit this guy. Yeah, tell me about yourself. I make no secret of my ambitions. Uh, father was one of the leading warriors of our clan, but in his last battle, his hamstring was cut. Ooh. We lived well off the wealth he brought home, uh, but now I feel it's time I bring home some silver of my own. Fair enough. I need to buy a ship and hire men to row it. Oh, dude, you're like a full-on Viking, huh? Okay. Yeah. You're... Yeah, you sound like a good dude. Welcome. Could definitely use you. Uh, I do need to get some equipment for those guys at some point. The uh, the new heroes that we have, but... Eh, we'll worry about that in a little, little bit. But here we go. The last four of our swords. All sold off. We're going to be up to... 1.64 million dinars. All right. That's good to see where we're at. That's good to see where we're at. Those swords sustained us for quite some time and are still going to continue. Like, I mean, we, we have a lot of money in the bank right now. But it is time for us to start the smithing grind and see if we can't forge the god tier polearm. Uh, I saw a few other ones that looked pretty good too. There was one called a War Razor that I saw that was like 40k in, in certain shops. Actually, I'm gonna quick kill these guys and get some more XP. I'm getting pretty close to, uh, 175 Polearm, which was the goal. Alright, and just like that, after that battle, 175 Polearm. So let's check these out. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, okay, this one's just Personal and Governor. Alright, so, when you hit an enemy in the head with a Polearm, you deal 50% more damage. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, Skewer, your couch lance now has a 30% chance to stay couch after it kills someone. Yo! I mean, we don't use a lance, but if we did, that would be so sick. I mean, that's like god tier shish kebab stats. Like, you just, you, you just shink, 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 shink. Like, you just plow through an entire army if you got lucky. It's only a 30% chance to stay couch. That, I feel like you could get some really cool, like, clips with that. If you get, like, lucky and get three or four kills in a row with a couch lance oh my god that would feel so fucking badass um as it is i mean we don't use a couch lance so we're gonna pick this one and then the one we've been looking for so as the party leader every single infantry in our party has their melee weapon skills increased by 30 when they're in shield wall formation that is insane um and, as a captain, troops in the formation you're leading have their damage with pole arms increased by 3%, so that'll be our Druzenics are going to be stabbing even harder. Meanwhile, all of our infantry and their shield wall are going to be super deadly. That's, I mean, this is such a good perk. Uh, I think that's probably as far as we're going to take it. I don't even think, without spending another focus point, I don't think we could get here. All troops in your party gain 1 XP a day. Troops in your party gain five hit points? Holy shit, bro. We might have to try to go for this. Is there any way we get that high? 150. We're at... Oh, I think that's where we would cap out at. I think that's where we would cap out at. That could be... Oh, man. Five extra HP to all of our troops? That's such a good perk. <laughs> oh, we might just have to go that far. Oh, and this perk is good too. Sure-footed infantry in the formation you're leading have their defense against mount charge damage. Actually, oh, just the charge damage isn't that that uh, that big of a deal. Fifty percent less for us though. That'd be nice. Wow. Oh, this one. No, this one's good. Cavalry troops in your formation have their speed damage bonus with pole arms increased by thirty percent. Fuck me, the pole arms are so good. Okay, well, you know what? So be it. We, did, we do need to get another level, which is going to take us some time at this point. We're level 35. We're actually getting really high up there. Um, that This might be where we put our next focus point, too. All right, but now it's time to switch sides. We are going to start working on one-handed so we can get this one.
all of the infantry and the party you were leading gained 10 HP. Is this one, was this one just for infantry? No, that's all troops in our party gained 5 hit points. These perks are so cracked, this is why we're working on it. Alright, we're waiting here in Galen because uh, there's another one of the caravan quests. And um, supposedly they should be leaving here pretty soon in the next day or two. I'm going to be sitting right here. We're not missing it this time. We're going to catch him, okay? Uh, but while we're doing it, we're doing a little bit of smithing. So I, I'm curious. I just want to see. So if we have spent off smelting down the expensive stuff that I bought. Not the scythes, but the bill hooks. Is this going to unlock us a decent amount of parts? How many do we have right now? We have eight parts unlocked. Basically, is that a... Is this a broom? Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ. How much money did I spend on you just to have you learn how to make a, <laughs> a prehistoric pitchfork and a shitty broom slash rake? Is that actually what it's called? Hold up. Somewhere it just said rakehead. I swear I just saw rakehead somewhere. <laughs> Forkhead. Oh, God. All right, please. Spent off. I spent 30K on these. Tell me it was worth it. Wait, where are they at? Where'd they go? Am I blind? There we go. Bill hooks. Come on. Come on, baby. Something good. Wow. For 8k, they only take one. They only give us one crude iron back? That sucks. Okay. That's one. Two parts? Okay. Three part. None? I unlocked none. Four. Okay. That's not bad. You know what? Four parts for, for 8k? I'll take that. Give me some more. Shovel head. Yeah. 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 More of that. More of that. Come on. Give me more. Sturgeon military fork. Awesome. Yeah, sturgeons have pretty good forks. <laughs> okay, give me the last two. What do we got here? Anything good? It looks like it's giving us a decent amount of parts. All right, and now we just spam smelt a whole bunch of these sites. Because I'll be honest, I need a lot of uh, iron anyways if I'm going to do this. Give me a bunch. Give me all the parts. We just burned through like 40 sites right there. <laughs> that was actually a pretty decent amount. <laughs> Alright, Lishka. She also has the curious uh, smelter perk, so she should get a bunch too. She just doesn't have the smithing stamina that uh, that Svenoff has, so she doesn't do quite as much. Okay, so then we leave, we come back. How many parts did we just unlock? 15! Oh, that's not that bad at all. We're already well into the tier 2s. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, tier twos. We're only missing two heads. Some of those are pretty good. War scythe? Fuck yeah. And halfway through those. Almost done with that. Almost... Oh, this, is, this isn't this is going to take that long at all. Oh, this won't be bad at all. Nice, nice. Good to know. Hey, there we go. All right, finally set out. That took longer than five days. Okay, six days. All right, fair enough. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't that long. Uh, got a good amount of smithing in, though. I really did. Ooh, we're about ready to uh, go again here. Let me see. We are up to 33 parts on the two-handed pole arms, and I think, yeah, we've started getting a couple tier three parts. So we're making good progress. We're making good headway. I was checking out some of the parts as to like what we might eventually want to use one day, and I want something that's only going to be good for cutting. And I think this is the best one there is. This uh, bent razor head, which. Now that I'm looking at it, might be the same head that the romp, uh, rompaya, romp, rompalia, what, I forget what weapon we're using right now. That might be the exact same head. This could be a situation, like with Avalanche, where the base weapon is so good, we can only slightly improve on it with, like, basically the same parts. I hope it's not. But yeah, if you look at the tier 5 parts, none of them are pure swing cut damage, it looks like. So this one does 134, I mean, just with the base parts we're using right now. Whereas, like, if we could go for this one, it all goes all the way down to 52. What the fuck? I'm not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. That doesn't make any sense. But anyways, all right. Let's hawk these guys down. Uh, I did a little bit of training with one-handed, so we are up to 221. We only need four more points in order to unlock this absolutely broken perk. Plus 5 HP for us and plus 10 for all the infantry in our party. And, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. So, we'll see. Hopefully, K 
Can we catch them? 4.6. Okay, we can catch them. Jesus Christ, they're not going to leave us in the dust this time. Why were they so much faster than us before? Oh, what did I just click? No! Wait, that was probably some good, uh... Oh, that was probably some good dialogue. Ah, whatever. We're killing him. We're killing him. I watch ya. It was, I think it was something about stolen weapons. I know, no, no, no. They're smuggling weapons. I don't think they're stolen, though. Ah, whatever. They know what it is. They know they're working for the bad guys, for Istiana. And they know spent off by reputation alone is not going to accept that. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Uh... Okay, seems like we're at least on the high ground. Spread out these guys. Uh, we'll have to see whether they charge us or not. Once again, we're using a one-handed sword. They are coming at us. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, let's have infantry up there. Put our cavalry up a little bit. And this way we can move our archers. Something like here. I just want as many of them to have views on the enemy as possible. Oh my Jesus Christ, what is that? Uh, Alright, hey, good luck, boys. Um, fucking hell. Okay, hold on. We'll use a little bit of pull. Ooh. Where the fuck did this giant-ass cavalry force come from? All I saw was the infantry, and then, like, these guys rode over the hill, and it was, it was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we're absolutely dumpstering these fools. Get out of here. Ooh, that only did 55? Who's this guy? Oops, sorry, horse. Woo! Conspiracy Knight. Man, that guy's tanky. Ah! Okay, okay, hold on. Let's get back to our infantry. This could actually get a little dicey. I'm not even gonna lie. All right. Cavalry, mount back up. Get, get away. Let's leave this to the infantry. And then we're going to let Oathkeeper sing a little bit here. Um, from what I remember, Oathkeeper is not actually that amazing in, uh, in mass combat. Because it's a little slow for a one-handed weapon. And part of that is, you know, we don't have maxed out weapon proficiency with it. We're going to stand with our boys here. I mean, it does good damage. Don't get me wrong. It does really good damage, so we sh as long as we're getting hits, we should level up pretty fast. Oh, I saw that big two-handed guy coming in. Don't think so. Ooh, hello? Come on. Get that knight. Get that knight. There we go. Good. Get another one. It's kind of weird how the knights aren't mounted. They're the only, like, high-tier units they have that aren't mounted. That seems strange to me. Go. Okay, looks like they're running. I haven't seen. Have we gotten many points yet? Have we gotten many skill points? Nice. Alright, archers, don't kill the rest of them. Leave the rest of these guys to me. Soften them up if we have to, but uh, leave them to me. Yeah, Svenolf is just hawking these guys down. Oh, this isn't even close. Come here. Yeah, there really is good reach on this. And it's not, it's not as slow as it used to be. Oh my god, 227 one-handed. Oh, we, we crushed it. Oh, Jesus, hello. I didn't even notice all these guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fucking crossbowmen have never actually fought in melee in their life. Is that a mace? What are you yeah. using? Ow! Well, it hurts, whatever it is. Hit me with like a policeman's like club. What are those called? Nightjacks? Or no. What are they called? I don't think they're nightjacks. Get out of here. Ooh, what? How did you tank that? I stabbed you through the throat. Alright, just go ahead and finish this guy off. I've had enough. Oh, I don't have any ranged weapons. I can't even reach him. Not even with, uh, the Rompea. Oh, we're coming in fast. Got him! <laughs> Sniped him at the last second. 84 level ups? Are you kidding? 84! <laughs> oh, that's sick. I didn't even see how many, how many deaths did we have. It wasn't that many, I don't think. We did pretty good, all things considered. That, the, the Oath Keeper, the one-handed, it felt a lot better this time. Holy shit, 134 level ups. What the fuck? Uh, okay, the Fions are all leveled up. Let's just go ahead and do that. Boom, boom, boom. My god. 
A hundred and thirty-four level ups. Ten grand after one battle. That's insane. Uh, this is actually a pretty good helmet. 51 head armor. That's no joke. The same as what uh, Udris is using. It would be better than what Apollonia is using, but once again, hers is decorative. Hers, hers looks good. Same as Alishka. Oh, actually, this will be good for our new guys. Yeah, Sorgar the Loud. That's right. There you go, champ. I'll give you a little bit of armor. A, a legionary cape. Yeah, look at you. Ooh, look at sharp all of a sudden. Uh, what else we got for you? All right, give you a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Hey, that's like some half decent like gear we just gave him. He's looking okay. Um, I can't remember if he's a horse guy or not. So I think we'll hold off on giving him any horses for the time being. We should get you a shield probably. That would be good. Yeah, we'll get you one of those. And then, I don't know. At some point, I'll probably give you some javelins or something. I need to look at their stats. I'm still not 100% sure what their stats are looking like. And then you, uh, you get the leftovers. There's not much left, I'm not going to lie. Um, give me a little bit of that, maybe. Give you this. Wow, this is garbage gear. I'm <laughs> I feel bad. Uh, Valishin, the not-so-lucky. Yeah, that's going to be your title now. Okay, pretty good. Um, we'll maybe take some of the rest of this. Tell you what, we'll give you the nice masterwork sword, and we'll give this guy... Yeah, this is just better in every way. Take that. And a shield for you. And we will call that a day, I think. Loot a couple of these, because they're always good to sell. And then leave the rest for our boys. Yeah. Pretty good. Nice. Okay. What did that do? Is this going down? 1100. I think that's slightly lower than the, when we completed the last one, but not by much, man. God damn. We we have to do every single quest that he gives us just to, like, keep it from going up. Let alone getting it to, like, actively really go down. That's... Sheesh. Alright. Well, give me some time. Uh, actually, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's, do, let's do the perks right now. Uh-huh. Wow. We actually made it all the way up to 229. I, you know what? I, there's a chance we could get up to 250. But... It just seems like a lot. It just seems like a lot. I don't know. But here we go. Unwavering defense. Honestly, both of these are really good. Deadly purpose would increase uh, the damage by the infantry troops in the formation you're leading by 10%. So that would be good, except normally we have Svenolf leading our cavalry. So on field battles, this wouldn't really help at all. It would help in sieges. It would help a lot in sieges. Unwavering defense... This is 10 plus HP to every infantry in our entire party. And we gain 5 hit points. I think that that's the one. And with this perk, if we go out, we are officially at 200 hit points. That is insane. I didn't know that was actually possible in Bannerlord. We, I don't think we ever got there with Ron. I don't think we got even close to that with Ron. Uh, Svenolf is in a league of his own. He really is. But anyways, um, I'm going to keep on smithing. And uh, yeah, we'll be back when that's done. And I think we can probably end off the episode. Probably be a little bit of a shorter episode. We'll end off uh, this episode with uh, maybe taking a town from Sturgia. They don't have much left. Also, I didn't realize, one of you guys pointed this out, the Southern Empire is down to a single town. The Western Empire is pretty massive. They're looking good. They're actually pushing down to the Azerai territory as well. And then the uh, Cusates are popping off too. It really is. The power has been consolidating in a few factions, it seems like. But hey, at least we're one of them, right? All right. Finally, we are done. I've unlocked every single part. Um, what I ended up doing is just buying four or five more of the Rampayas. And, uh, Rompalias, I don't know, whatever the fuck they're called. And that jump-started us to unlock the, uh, Manavalaton Warhead. And as soon as we unlocked this, all of a sudden, the spears we were creating went from being worth, like, 200, 300 dinars to 10,000. And then it was a piece of cake finishing out the grind from there. It literally, we were done in, like, two days after that, not even. Um, so, with that being said, 
If you look at this particular spear that we're about to craft, it only costs two steel and then one hardwood. It's really cheap, right? Really, really cheap. And with Sven off with his current perk lo uh, loadout, he can just do... I mean, he can whip up a whole bunch of those things. Um, let me show you how much these things are worth. Yeah. 12k a pop. We turn two steel and a single hardwood into 12k. And keep in mind, we don't even have the artisan perk selected right now. These will sell for like 16,000, 17,000 maybe. Um, we just found something so much better than the old money making method from smithing. This is cracked. Like, look at that. <laughs> we just made a couple hundred thousand in no time at all. And we can do that probably twice a day with full full smithing stamina. Um, yeah. So I'm going to grind this for a little bit. Then I'm going to uh, try to figure out and make the uh, the best version of the, the Ramphaya that I can. Um, and then uh, we'll probably go ahead and end it off with a little bit of, uh, little bit of a war. And yeah, that'll be a, uh, a good Christmas episode, I think. Ooh, okay, we just got a new quest. What is this? Conspiracy base of operations discovered. Ooh, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Adversaries have set up a camp in its environs. Never seen that word before. Uh, not to know what to do, but if you ready the camp, stole some of their supplies, brought it back to me, we could get some idea of their wicked intentions. Search around Galand for the hideout. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, we need that. The conspiracy strength is almost right back up to what it was before. Lovely. All right, Galand. <laughs> Why is it always got to be on, like, the complete opposite sides of Galradia? I guess it could be worse. We could have one that's, like, in, you know, Husenfolk. <laughs> A lot of rebellions going on. Kuyaz and Sabir just popped off. Uh, Sabir is actually pretty nice because that that is something we definitely would like to retake after we destroy the rest of Ragavan's group. All right, let's head on over here. Check this quest out. Uh, continue smelting, and then we'll go ahead and finish this episode on up. Okay, found it. Also, our boys are just itching to go to war with the Western Empire. This is the second time this vote has happened. And I'm not gonna lie, the first time, it cost me quite a bit of influence to turn it down. I just... I don't want to fight the Western Empire right now. I, I, I want to fight Sturgia and finish them off, and then we can go back to, like, training up troops and getting ready for a really big war. Like the Western Empire or Flandia, someone that we're paying a lot of tribute to. Alright, what's the damage gonna be? Uh, we could go to war with the Northern Empire. No, 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 Southern is what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the Southern is the one with only one town left. All right, Western Empire. Oh, how much is this going to cost? 430 influence. Oh, yeah. Nope, we're not doing it. Not yet. Holy shit, they're pretty strong. Look at that. 10,000 strength. That's not bad at all. We have paid them. We've paid the North half a, half a million? Actually, that's not even that much. Half a million dinars? Shit, we're, we're, we're walking around with 1.4. Who who do we owe a bunch of tribute to? We're paying the Western Empire town. Okay, I can see why they want us to go to war with them. If anything, just to stop the tribute. That's fair. Same with Vlandia. Okay, yeah, that, that will be first on the agenda after we unite Sturgia, okay? Um, but for right now, let's go ahead and pop this real quick. So I don't know, is this going to... Oh, what the fuck? I didn't realize we walked right past it. Um, is this just going to be a standard hideout? I mean, surely it's going to be tougher than just a standard hideout, I would think, right? I would think so. I don't know. Otherwise, then it's like, well, it's... Yeah, no, it's definitely going to be stronger. Because, like, the regular Sea Raider parties don't normally have 40-plus troops like uh, these ones do that we fight for these quests. Okay. Uh, who are we taking with us? Uh, no, no, give me... Um... <laughs> do we just go... Uh... I tell you what, I'm I'm trying to level up the troops. Let's get a bunch of Fions with us. Yeah. Or even some Sturgeon soldiers would be good. Let's give the Sturgeon soldiers a try. Svenolf can be the range support all by himself. Alright, here we go. Doesn't seem like anything too far to far out of the norm. Oh wait, no, okay. Okay, it's not actual it's not actual mountain bandits. It's these conspiracy fighters. 
who, okay. After seeing two people get headshot, they will finally take out their shields. All right, boys, come on, join me. Woo, baby. Yeah. Ouch, ouch, okay, never mind. I got a little thing called Skyfall here. It hurts. Oh, man, that poor dude was getting mosh pitted. <laughs> Our guys just surrounded him. We're just wailing with their axes. Okay, all right, all right. So they're a little bit tougher, but this isn't anything too crazy, I don't think. It'd be cool if instead of the uh, Mountain Bandit hideout, it was, um... Isn't it the Sea Raider hideout that, like, half of it is underground? Like, it's in a cave system you have to go into and fight them? I think that's the Sea Raider one, right? Nah, I'm not too sure. I'll pop these guys real quick. That was a whiff. Jesus. Uh, he, that was such a bad shot, he didn't even notice. Okay, this is a... You guys aren't looking, are you? Okay, no. They, they hadn't turned the corner yet. They didn't see anything. <laughs> What's up, baby? I was gonna say, you're just gonna ignore me? That's rude. <laughs> there you go, boys. Good, good. Keep it coming. How many do we have left? Seven of them? Ah, yeah, that won't be too bad. And then, I wonder if the chief fight at, at the end is gonna be tougher. It might. It might be. I think we'll actually fight all of them instead of dueling, just so I can get our boys extra XP. I mean, that's the whole reason we're doing this stuff. Oh, look at these guys. Just, this is actually a really pretty valley that they're in. It looked like they were just enjoying the view, and then we're going to come in and just ruin their day. Ooh. Bro, Stunoff is speedy as shit now. Even in maxed out, like, heavy-ass armor. God damn. All right, here we go, boys. Last ones. I think. To be fair, they actually, the entire army gets XP whenever I get a two-handed kill, so we should probably just... It's probably better for us to kill them than to have an individual troop kill them. Ooh, okay, they actually have knights here. Alright, this, um... Our boys could get hurt here. Could lose a few. Okay, so we lost one... Okay, we only lost one. That's not bad to get 10 level ups out of that. That's worth it in my opinion. Alright, come on. Please tell me we're under 1100 uh, conspiracy strength. Because we instant, as soon as this quest came up, we ran over here and did it. If it's not under 1100, then we're just, there's no stopping it. Eventually, the conspiracy is going to happen. It's just how long can we prolong that. Alright, 15 level ups for that is not bad at all. Good. Ooh, hello, 6k? God damn, this is actually some expensive loot. Of course they start giving us this really expensive loot right after we, uh... <laughs> right after we find the, the money printer that is uh, crafting two-handed spears. Um, oh well, okay, come on, give me the good news. It's above 1100. We beat it right away, and it, the conspiracy is still stronger than it was before. Oh, man. This is going to be a problem. Okay, so after a lot of toying around, I believe I have made... This is an exact replica of the Ramphaya. Alright, exact stats. 203 reach, 76 swing speed, 140... Actually, the one that I have has a 141 swing cut damage. This has a base of 143 and the exact same handling, 66. So it's the exact same, except somehow I got it to do two extra damage. I'm going to craft a few of these, see if we can't get like a either a masterwork or a legendary version of it. Um, that way, at least if nothing else goes well, we have a better version. <laughs> All my time spent, you know, grinding two-handed pole arms was worth it. I guess it already was worth it because we, we're making a bunch of money off of them. But uh, let's whip up a few of these. And just see if we can get any with a good modifier. Holy shit. <laughs> like that. Oh, okay. I think we're done. Um, that was easy. <laughs> uh, what are we going to call this? So here's the thing. I think there is actually an opportunity to use this on the battlefield. Where, it, where this will be our most effective weapon. And I think it is going to be against very cavalry-dominant civs. Um, specifically, the Qzates, who as soon as we take out Ragavad, 
we're going to be right on their border, and we're probably going to be going to war with Manchug. This should be outstanding for when we're chasing down archers and random cavalry, and we can hit them from a mile away. Um, especially with fall, oh my god, the swing speed on this is gorgeous, and it does significantly more damage than the already OP ROM fire that we were using. So, I think, as much as I would like to call this ROM fire 2, kind of like Avalanche 2, um, I want to call this something, I, I think, Knight's Bane is a good name for it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, I like that a lot. That is beautiful. It only took one try. I was prepared to have to spend a while to get the legendary roll. But, I mean, it's a 5%. So it's unlikely, but it's not that unlikely. Uh, Alright. Yeah, how much is this thing? It actually, I don't even think it's, as, it's worth as much as the other ones. Which is crazy, because it is, it is better. Where'd it go? Knight's Bane, right here. So let me see. This compares to Ramphaya. It's just better in every way. It's just four more speed, five more damage, and one more handling. Yes, sir. Sign me. Yeah, I think it's the exact same parts. Sign me up, baby. Actually, before we do that, lock that. Beautiful. All right. Awesome. Okay. I think you guys know what time it is. It is time for war. So let's actually move our armies over a little closer to the border. And then I think we'll actually call an army to us. Something big. And then we are going to steamroll through the remaining uh, fortresses that they have. It's only three still, right? Yeah, it's only three. All right, this should be easy. Okay, it's time. We're on the border. Let's go ahead and call an army. Good lord, this is going to be it's just so big. <laughs> what was the army we raised last episode to finish off the Batanians? I think it was like four... 1300, 1400. Uh, something tells me this is going to be a lot more. <laughs> There's three rows. <laughs> How many lords did we just call? 17? Jesus. All right. Well, while we're waiting for them to get here, uh, what is this? Declaring war on the Northern Empire. No. Stop. <laughs> Stop doing this. Stop making me spend my influence on this. Good news is we get our influence back really fast. We get 15 a day. <laughs> Uh, okay. Before we do that, we do have some level ups to take care of. Fodor. Oh my god, he got two scout perks. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, okay. Increase maximum track spotting distance by 20%. Increase track detection. Uh, ooh, here we go. The ooh, hello. Tracker. When following a hostile party on the campaign map, you gain a 2% speed bonus. Uh, yes, please. That's lovely. He's leveled up three times. Holy shit. Good job, Fodor. Uh, I think a lot of that is just from the smithing we've been forcing him to do. <laughs> him and the new heroes that we recruited this episode is like, Alright, boys. Would you like to join the esteemed company? The esteemed army of Svenoff? Alright, get to crafting. Chop, chop. We got uh, at least 400 iron bars that need to be smithed in order for, uh, <laughs> for Svenoff to craft up all of his spears. Alright, what do we got here? I didn't mean to choose that right away. What did we just get? If your party has more than 50% cavalry, you gain 10% sight bonus. That's... Eh. Ew, when fighting against bandit parties, you get plus 5 battle morale. Alright, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll do mounted scouts, even though I don't think we'll ever have over half 50% cavalry. Ugh, yeah, alright, those those were kind of trash, I'm not going to lie. Uh, alright, we got 3 points. Perfect, we can get all of these up to 5. There you go. And a fresh level up for you. Um, hmm. endurance, I guess. Why not? Why not? Since we've been having him uh, help us smith. All right, who else we got? Alishka's good. Okay, it's just my brother. All right, not important. Ooh, watch the boys run on in. We're already up at twelve thirty-three, and half the people aren't even here still. This is going to be an actual host. We're building a pyramid of lords here. Yeah, we still got quite a few left. There we go. There we go. <laughs> 1950. How many we got left? Three more lords. And they're big ones. And they're big ones. There's two more. We just, uh, we're just just missing Bovon. Where you at, Bovon? Come on. Hurry this up. Oh, baby. 
Where's Bovon at? Oh, Durngul can come in now? Alright, welcome, welcome. Come, come. Uh, where's Bovon at? 15 hours! Alright, we're not waiting for him. We've got over 2,000 in one army. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run over here. We're gonna buy out all their food. And then we're just gonna destroy everybody. Honestly, we don't even need to starve them out. I just wanna buy their food just because. Boom, and all their beer. Yes, beautiful. Alright, lads. I think it's time. Sturgia. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, they are paying us tribute right now, but it's not even that much. They only have five clans left. That's kind of sad. 9,000 strength to 2,000. I wonder who is going to win. <laughs> um, propose war. It's time. Everyone's just so amped for any war. They're willing to go to war with the one faction that's actually paying us money. Two towns, one castle. Let's do this thing. All right. So, actually, uh, Knightsbane, I love you. Now is not really the time for you. Oh, fuck, I have to go all the way down to the bottom of this. Uh, we are going to bring Avalanche. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. All right, go ahead and start the siege. This should be ridiculously fast. Boom. Oh, my God, look at the siege camp. <laughs> I have never seen it built that fast before. That's actually insane. Uh, okay. Well, didn't she just got a perk earlier on this episode that should make it so that trebuchets destroy walls much faster. So let's go ahead. Full trebuchet bombardment. Break down the walls and then just walk right in. We need to make a statement here, okay? Oh, look, they can't even... Okay, okay, maybe they can touch our trebuchet. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Don't die, don't die. Ah, don't die. I mean, we build them so fast, it's kind of okay. No way. Is this one going to stay alive? Hey, not bad. It is going to stay alive. At least for now. At least until we get all four up. Sick. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a battering ram, too. I mean, if we break down the walls, siege, siege towers are kind of pointless, I think. Oh, yeah, they are working those walls already. Nice. All right, they're already starving here. <laughs> These poor fucks. Durngill only has 10 troops. Oh, he got into a fight on the way here. Okay, fair enough. Oh, is that... Who is this? Uruk with an army of 185? That's cute, Uruk. That was a nice try. That was a nice attempt you made. How close to the walls? I can't see. Oh, there we go. Okay, both of them about at half health. Do we take both of them out? I mean, both of them are going to end up pretty close, so we might as well, I think. Gavin has reached age 5. Uh, who are you? Are you my brother's son? Alright, we're just going to do the same stuff. Mock battles, wrestling matches, and he's intelligent. All of our boys are intelligent, and all of our girls are fucking chads. Interesting. Not sure how that works. Alright, beef up the cohesion a little bit. Oh, look at their little army. Look at them go. They're trying so hard to be a relevant kingdom. Alright, we're almost done with one wall. How tall are, are these walls? Ooh, they are level 3 walls. Okay, so it's a good thing we actually completely destroyed them. Alright, last one. Come on, before nighttime. Nice. Nice. There we go. Alright, go ahead and switch. Alishka, back over to Surge in. And I think we are ready to go. 2,400 against 473. It's going to be a close one, boys. But we might. We might just be able to pull this off. Who leveled up? Did, was that Alishka? No. What? Who, who the fuck leveled up? Eliza? Stop annoying me. Uh, don't, pay, <laughs> don't pay wages for wounded soldiers. <laughs> That's our go-to. Alright, here we go. The end of Sturgia begins... The full beginning of the Kingdom of Nords is on the precipice. All right, here we are. I have never seen this castle before. I'll go ahead and just auto-deploy everybody. <laughs> A single infantry regiment of 228, nice. Um, okay, there's one hole in the wall, and then what the fuck is this? D 
That is not a hole in the wall. That is a hole in, like, the fake fence that they put out front. Are you kidding me? How are we supposed to actually get inside the castle from that? Surely, okay, there's got to be a different hole in the wall, right? That's not... It didn't take four trebuchets a couple of days to break that. Fucking Svenoff could have came over and pushed those down himself. Is there a way into the castle from here? Like, from this? I need to check this out. <laughs> I need to actually investigate this myself. That is suspect. Oh, wait, they just have... <laughs> Why are they defending that? Why on earth would they ever defend that? I don't understand at all. <laughs> there has to be, like, an entrance into the castle, right? From that angle? That's the only thing that makes sense. All right, boys. A little bit of Sturgeon on Sturgeon uh, violence. You hate to see it. But it's the only way to end this war once and for all. Oh my god, they have like no one compared to us. Oh, they are tanky though, I'll give them that much. They are Sturgeons. We respect that. But they must bend the knee. There's only one. There can only be one. Oh, there is an entrance. Bro, what a shittily designed castle. This is a terribly designed castle. And I still don't get why our trebuchets took that long to knock down a fence. Okay, actually, this would be... Gr like, if they had full archers, this would be a great, like, murder hole. I cannot see a goddamn thing. I hope this actually leads us to where we're supposed to go. This is... What is... It, what if this is just an elaborate, like, dead end on the wrong side of the castle? Oh, hello. Okay, that's an enemy. Must be doing something right. Ooh. The mirror? Get out of here. Okay, do we go this direction then? Bro, this is a fucking maze. I have no idea where I'm at. And there's not enough enemies <laughs> alive on the battlefield at one time to really tell where the front of the of the battle is. Wh where are you guys? Okay, hold up. There's some dudes coming from over here. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, hey, buddies, what are we doing, archers, huh? Trying to just walk by old Sven off, that's rude. Could have said hello to your future king. Well, let's be honest, a lot of you guys aren't making it to the future. A lot of you guys are just going to be dead here. Beautiful. Yes. Stop their reinforcements from getting to where they're supposed to go. And I think a lot of them are just running already. 400 to the face. Ooh, ooh, hello. Where are you going there? Hey, hey, slow down. Why, what's the hurry? Oh, hold up. I think that's where they... Oh, you almost made it. You almost made it. Okay, little conveyor belt of death. Ooh, no. No! One got away. Two... Ah, two got away. Shit. Okay, stop the rest. Stop the rest. No more. This is a tower defense simulator now. Oh, damn it. Two more lives gone. The balloons are getting through. I haven't played a balloons game in ages, man. I miss those. Those are fun. I need some more... I need some more monkeys to help pop these balloons. Some Moab maulers. That was my shit back in the day. I would just spam cannons. Spam cannons until you can get some super monkeys, and then you're good to go. <laughs> Anyone who's never played Bloons Tower Defense has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we actually got a scrap on the bridge here. Uh, I don't know if I want to jump down. I don't know if I can get back up if I jump down. It looks like our boys are doing a pretty good job. Wait, hold up. Oh, look it! The veteran Falksmen do use, uh, Ramphias. Too bad I've got the best Ramphia of all, you fools. Good work. We only lost two from our party, only lost 20 in total. Absolute domination. That's what we've come to expect. Man, with an army this large, I kind of want to just, as soon as we're done with, uh, with Sturgia, 
declare war on uh, the Cusates and just keep going down this entire peninsula. Mimir, get out of here. You're free to go. None of you guys are actually threatening. <laughs> Alright, let's level these guys up. Good stuff. Yes. Love to see it. Love to see it. Ooh, locked shields banner. Negative 10% ranged attack damage. That's not bad. I'm actually going to hang on to that one. It's what the fuck? 55, sorry, 53,000? Why is it that much? <laughs> that's got to be a bug. I don't think that's right. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> that's so much. All right, what about the rest of these? Anything, anything crazy good? Nah, we'll just leave that for the boys. Let the boys eat, you know what I mean? All right, show mercy. Good stuff. Beautiful. Okay, hold on. It just said we captured a ton of people. I don't know who we captured. Oh, tell you what. It was probably all the ladies of the faction that only have two different towns to choose from as to where they, they hang out. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to end this one off here because it is already 1.30 in the morning. I've got to edit and uh, upload this before I drive home for Christmas. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, I hope your Christmas festivities, hanging out with the fam goes well. And I will see you back probably either late, later Monday for a, a Witcher 3 live stream or Tuesday. Unfortunately, I tried to do the Witcher 3 live stream today and the new patch that they forced out last night that they forced me to upload or uh, forced me to download, it kept on crashing the game. So we're going to do it over. We're going to actually play the game for the first time on either Monday night or Tuesday. But until then, as always, take it easy, lads.